license and I'll give it to my nephew. Because my nephew drives Uber. I got two nephews that do it. I'll give it to them. <laughs> Yes. I can't, I just can't let him get in my truck. Like, listen, he'll, he'll follow me wherever I go. I'll train him. I know he'll be driving with me. But I said to him, this is brand new trucks. It's not like you're driving junk, you know, trucks that are 15 years old. You're driving brand new trucks. And, and once you get going, all you need to do is work four days a week, five days a week. That's it. Don't kill yourself, Seven. You work four or five days okay. a week so, and you're going to so, make so a money. So you're saying anyone that's doing Uber, uh, like in big cities, what again? Like New York's gonna. In New York City, you have TLC plates. You cannot sell your plates. Okay, and so if you're an Uber driver, it's all. Yeah. We gotta figure out how to get an Uber driver to a truck. Well, here's what I'm trying how do to figure out. How do we do that for the typical Uber driver? Well, here's the catch. They got to learn. Listen, you know it's different. They got to learn how to. They got to learn how to hook up cars. Plus, what we do is different. We're gone one or two days at a time. Listen, I just went last night. If you see my Facebook page, a friend of mine called me from 30 years ago. I took a hundred eighty thousand dollar Corvette from Tim Falls, New Jersey, South Jersey to Buffalo, eight hundred cash. And I looked online. I grabbed something off Central Dispatch, coming back for three fifty to another dealer right now in Jersey. I made eleven fifty. It cost me $150. I made $1,000 in a day and a half. So I said to that guy, if that were you, you'd give me $150 because I would take 10%. So you would have made $850 in one day. You'd have been away from your wife for 10 hours. Okay, she would have slept by herself tonight and you'd be back tomorrow and you'd be done. You would have made a week's pay what you're doing in Uber in 14 hours. Seven up, seven back. You know, it, you listen, go. you know yourself. You get burned out on the road. That's why I tell guys, yeah. run all, you know, around here. Run three, four hundred mile runs. This way you're back the same day or the next day. But it's just the fact that getting these guys, see, if we get this guy into the truck and we get him rolling, what's he going to do? He's going to convince his friends this is the way to go. There is nobody going to be able to undercut me or undercut you. You're a promoter. I can't promote. You're a promoter. That's why I was telling these guys, we got to start giving yeah. Serge money. We'll give him money because it'll pay back. It'll, yeah, it'll, it'll yeah, work it's... for us. I mean, if you want to help the guy out, I'll, I'll do whatever you want. Uh, I'll, you know, you listen. You don't have to worry about me. You know me for years. I'm not right. That's right. Not my style. Right. And, um, I think if we get this guy, we can get other people. You know what I mean? Because once they see that we, yeah, can if, if, if it's a matter of three thousand dollars, okay, give me four days. I'll give you the three thousand. Um, All right. I'll and, just, I'll tell, uh, and I'll tell him. Well, I will work it out. I'll. Uh, I'll take a chance on him. Um, why not, right? Um, listen, 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 sir, listen to me. Yeah. Don't worry about taking a chance with him. If he fucks up, I will guarantee the money. Don't worry about him. You know what I'm saying? I will yeah. guarantee what you give me. Hey, all I want is a meeting. You're dealing with me. You all, know what I mean? You're not all, all I want is lunch with Gary. That's all you owe me. I'll do anything for you. I'll promote anything. <laughs> I can get you whatever you listen to me. I can get you whatever you want. I tell you this a million times. Yeah, you yeah. can't act stupid in front of Gary. Gary's very I know, professional. I know. So it's <laughs> gonna take more than a year. Um so uh okay, cool. So what well, else listen, do, all, listen to me. What, what else need is to in do the with, news? Listen to me. Mm -hmm. All you need to do with Gary is push people his way. Once you push people his way, he'll he'll fall into your lap. You understand? Yeah, we'll we'll talk more about that project. Uh, I, when are we going to meet? When are you going to be down in we're, Miami? We're going to be down this week. Well, I don't know if we're going to Miami because of the weather, but we're coming down every single week. This for the next four weeks, I have runs. I have two cars going to Florida every week. Well, um, okay, so. All right. Well, I'm in Miami. Uh, I can drive up somewhere. When when can we? Just whatever. We gotta have lunch. Keep letting me know where you are. Um, if it's a matter I'll of. Be, uh, I'm gonna be in Fort Lauderdale for. A while. I'll figure out where I'm going. I'll call you back. Yeah. Um, okay. A couple more things I want to say before I go. Good. Uh, yeah, I'm meeting new people. Um, bunch of Russian guys I can meet here. Connect to car hauling. So I'm trying to. Work with that. Um, yeah, so get those t-shirts over here. That's what I want, the t-shirts. I need them now, pal. You know I, I, got a bunch of, I got a bunch of sports shirts. I only have a few of the t-shirts. I, I got about 10 t-shirts left. I got a bunch of sports shirts, though. But 
You, you, if you want, you, you know what's see. weird? You, you want to know the weirdest thing? So I left that Volvo in Minnesota. The guy's renting it out, paying me the cash for it. Uh, my Volvo, the, uh, he, uh, he says, you can't buy our new reefer trailer right now. They're all out of stock. They stopped building them. Because the reason why, because they can't get all the air conditioning all the parts. The same with motorhomes. They stopped building motorhomes. You can't get all the air conditioning parts. And yeah, snowmobiles and jet skis. Like, yep. Isn't that crazy? That's mental. So, uh, interesting things happening in the market. It's a good time to become a car hauler. Well, what I forget, but the thing is, you always have to remember you got to stop promoting the 10 car carrier guys. You got to look for the little guys, two, three, four yeah. car carrier guys. Yeah, yeah, that's because that's how I started. We do no, the one exactly. car. So, exactly. I, I'm working on you with that. If you, you know, and helping out Uber guys get to a one car hauler. Uh, once we get one, and maybe we'll get ten. And Listen, this kid, this kid's got another guy in his building that claims he has money. I got to meet with him. I just been traveling. I couldn't meet the guy. But we, as long as we can take an idiot like this kid and get him out of that Uber cab and get him driving, he's gonna be okay. Well, any car guy, yep, they'll yep, do he'll good. Be okay. Once um, they see it's cash money, you make your money every two, three days. They're gonna go for it. All right. Well, I'll, go I'll stay around Florida then because you know that's where I need to be. I think right. Uh, maybe I'm probably I think maybe up northern Florida a little bit more. I mean I don't think just Miami, but yeah, yeah, Florida, maybe. Florida's a rough state. I think you'd be better off up towards the middle of the state somewhere. Yeah. Um. Well, I was thinking to go see Steve and Daisy Wells too, uh, because I got you know do some move the things along there too. Uh. So that's what I'm going on. Anyways. Um. Yeah. So good good stuff in car hauling, huh? People are trading cars. Like. It's working. It's working. I'm not slowing down at all. How, do you know how many cars... Right, listen, right now on Central Dispatch, I'm looking at it. Going to Florida, anywhere from 900 to $1,300 for a closed trailer, one car. Now, tell me, is there any way... Do you know exactly how many cars you might have hauled over all your years? Oh, I, I, it's hard to say because remember, I was doing towing all them years. Yeah, well, how many cars have you handled? Towing and car hauling, everything. So I've been doing it 43 years. I used to do motor club work. I used to do the three to 4,000 calls a year doing the motor club work. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure I've hit 100, uh, not 100, maybe 50, 60,000 cars, 70,000 cars easily. Between t- we got to remember, I was towing for, for 10 or 12 years straight, five yeah. trucks, 24-7. It's nice to be connected. I wish you were here, man. The view's awesome. I'm in a nice hotel room. Uh, let's, uh, okay, keep me posted where you're at. Let's meet up. You got it. All right, bye. Bye bye. That was Ronald Tiny, uh, the godfather of exotic car hauling. He has hauled cars. Uh, out of the New Jersey, New York area, the most concentrated area of population and a bunch of wealth over there. He knows uh, some interesting people and uh, the backdoor combination to their garages because he just moves their cars around so much, including a Jewish banker that can finance anything named Gary. So uh, that's what Lunch with Gary is going to be. Uh, but... Not yet, uh, not this year, but um, still have paperwork to get ready. However, uh, we do have a plan and uh, have made the connection. So that's the news I can share with you, car hauling news. If you're an Uber driver, we can probably get you making much more money than you are. Uh, So send me a message uh, if you want to talk to me. If If you can find... If you can get a hold of me, if you can get a hold of me through my phone that keeps blowing up and everyone complains that it's so hard to get a hold of me, do it. If you see where my number is online somewhere, it's in many places. Uh, if not, you can go to surgethecarholler.com and click on the consultation button at the bottom. It's $200. I will see that I have to make an appointment with you. And call you. I'll be able to call you because it's it's almost impossible to get a hold of me through other ways. Uh, just I, I'm working on how to be more available, but 
If you click on that button on searchthecarhollow.com, I can talk to you and connect you to the right guy, uh, figure out your situation, maybe even finance some of your car hauling, uh, which is what I'm thinking what to do for this guy, Gerard. Uh, why not, right? Why not? Someone help me out when I started. I'll help others that are getting started. And uh, yeah, I hope you like the view here from the hotel in uh, beautiful South Florida. Uh, it's a cloudy day. We got not a category, something. We got high winds and a bunch of power lines down. And the just, um, it's Florida tropical hurricane season. So, yeah. Surge the car holler.com. My name's Serge. And uh, you just heard a conversation with the godfather of auto transport. Ronald Tiny, uh, he is the guy to connect. I mean, I I know a lot too, but this guy knows more and we're working on a brand together. Would you join us and build your American dream? If you would, let me know. If not, and you know someone that could share one of my videos with them, I'd love to help them out. Serge the Call Hauler is my name. I haul cars all over the internet. It's the American dream today. Join us now and build massive wealth. Make some cash flow along the way. And have fun trolling other car haulers online. <laughs> Hi everybody. Due to high demand, Serge the Car Hauler is expanding his business. If you're interested in joining an exciting company as a driver, owner, operator and such, visit his page at facebook.com slash search the car hauler and send him a message.